Hello everyone and welcome back towards the M-Wave Cyber Gamer Oceanic Esports Masters. We're into the Counter-Strike Finals and it's going to be an absolute cracker. Adios, our map pool is going to be Cache, Dust2 and then Train. So Cache, the mm. first map. Yeah, that's interesting because that's by far Parallax's best map and obviously Athletico. I think it's their weakest, um, but they've got a very big map pool as well. So, uh, you know, we're going to see some other ones. We're going to see obviously Dust2 and then Train. Uh, they're good on both those maps, uh, Atletico. So, over three, I think they're going to be a very tough team to beat. If they start fast on Cache, you know, I think themselves a great chance. But they'll Paradox get their opportunity with that first map, which is going to be Cache. So, um, they'll be feeling good about that. Yeah, I mean, I, at the moment, Cache is... Parallax is undefeated on Cache, and Atletico actually on a bit of a weak streak, in all honesty. Mm. I mean, I must say, I've seen their CT side Cache, and it looks pretty good. But somehow the T-side, I think it just falters a little bit and it's reflecting their record. They have, I believe, three victories but seven losses on Cache. So letting that map through, well, I guess at that stage it was either they have to play Cache or Overpass. So I believe they banned, they banned Cobble first, they let Cache through, but then they banned Overpass on the next rotation, which we know that Parallax are very strong for. Maybe they didn't quite read that Cache pick of, of Parallax's, maybe predicting that they wouldn't particularly go for Cache straight away, but they have. And I don't blame them, as you said, undefeated on that one. So clearly their, their pick they were going to always take from that sort of situation. Um, what follows that, though, interesting, you know, obviously Parallax probably out of the two teams has a weaker map pool, if I can put it that way. Yes. Um, obviously, uh, Dust2, everyone, oh, sorry, Dust2, everyone does play it. So you pretty much got to be okay on it. But then train the third map, interesting one there for both teams, probably Parallax more than Atletico. Well, we saw on Dust2 yesterday, Atletico, I mean, they were struggling in some rounds, but they were able to, once they were able to get the orb and able to hold on to us at long A, we saw that pretty much, I believe, Avant Guard was completely shot out. They couldn't access that beast on A site in the end, and Atletico actually strung back a lot of strong rounds to come back in that half, and eventually did take that 16-14. So, I mean, Dust2, not a surprising pick against Parallax. That They're kind of going, you know what? Uh, we believe that our aim and our orbs are stronger than what you have on your side, so we're going to take it to you. So, that's clearly forward-thinking. They... I think Atletico, they're not too confident on the first set of maps because I, I would say they're not confident on Cache or Overpass, uh, sorry, Overpass at the stage. Mm. So Train is the final map. I mean, they played a lot of Train, as far as I know. And we're going to see some Liaz mechanics on ladders as we go into the knife round. Yeah. Not in this map, unfortunately, but hopefully on Train. No, I'm just going to go through these players to watch. We've got Liaz, clearly the best player for me, or the most interesting player to, to watch very closely. And obviously Raz and for Parallax is a, a definite uh, big watch on him. The knife round is kicking off as we say that. And it uh, looks like they'll meet up down in Bido as they typically do here on Cache. They'll meet up and do a bit of a mishmash session. But at the moment, um, just going through those players, I think obviously Wizard as well there for Atletico, a player to watch as we do see those CTs opening up on the terrace. But Yellow will pick up a double. And the knife round will go towards the Atletico boys. So they will start off. Uh, what side do you reckon they'll pick? Atletico, I'm fairly sure we'll start on the CT side. But regardless of which side they're going to start on, I mean, they're going to have a very, very hard time f fending off against Parallax's T attack. I mean, so this is a bit of a, I guess, a gamble for them. And last time Atletico faced off against Parallax, it was a 16-2 scoreline in the favor of Parallax. So obviously Atletico are a lot more confident going to this one. As a matter of fact, I think Atletico, the two maps they lost against Parallax were Cache and Overpass. Hmm. So, I mean, as of this time, Atletico... Also gone, okay, we, fig we figured out our flaws. We're ready to take towards Parallax and shut them down on their strongest map and give them their first loss. So let's see it happen as we go into the pistol round. Yeah, pistol round about to go on here. So we'll see what they've learned. Athletico Parallax is going to try and put it back on them, try and take out that first map, pull themselves off into a great start here in this best of three as we're going to see a very uh, default setup here by uh, Athletico. Two players B, two A, and one watching mid there, three Z connector. So as yet, no real push coming from the terrorists either. That bomb over towards B, but... As I said, not committed to anything as of yet. So this is the grand final, as we do see Lonsdale, and they're ro rotating backwards towards that garage area. And they might even try a bit of mid-pressure, as Sonic is going to be the only CT there watching that mid-area. Out comes Jokes. He's going to try and get that pick on the uh, on the play. But now we'll see a bit of a retreat here from Sonic as he plays a bit more, more passive as he goes uh, back towards the uh, B site, potentially. Just watching a very passive angle towards Z. Uh, so we did see Raz go down early on, the 5v4 going on. And Chuch with that P2000 lining up towards B. The bomb here definitely in the hands of Lonsdale. Haven't committed yet. He's going towards the vents here. Going to try and get up there as he smokes or throws an aid down highway. Jokes will head towards Z. They're definitely going to try their luck here at the B site. And Sonic with that USP 
Ready to go. Out come the terrorists. He nails down yellow through the smoke. Not quite. Liz, Lias will pick up hats. Makes it a double, actually. Lias starting off really well here. Athletico getting off for that fast start we talked about. They're going to try and hold off here as Jokes comes out. Can't do anything because Lias is there for the trade. And the first round goes to Athletico. Yeah, that's a good hold coming out from Atletico. The pistol just absolutely too sharp. Sonic getting that one tap, stopping that B-side take. Lias also holding on, holding his own and making sure that B-side, which Parallax exploited previously, was now airtight this time around. I mean, they didn't. They only lost, I believe, one player. So it's going to be looking good for them as they go into the anti-eco. That's it though. Parallax, I mean, their, their favorite second round strategy. If they do lose on their rare pistol rounds, we see the Desert Eagles coming out as well as body armor. So the CTs need to be cautious at engaging these Ts at range. Yeah, we've got the Deagles going on here with the armor as well. Going to try and get this one round back as quick as possible. But as I say that, another passive setup here from Parallax. So Athletico, you know, they're, they're known slow starters in, in best of threes. And uh, they started off really well here on Cage, probably the map which I, I really did favor Parallax to take out. But it's obviously only the first map. I was infrequent. We'll pick up Raz. First kill on the board there for Athletico in the second round as Yellow will try and charge in here to the B-side. They're all she all going to be there. There's only one player, two players at B-side. It's Chuch and Liaz, as Liaz will pick up jokes. Liaz gets a triple kill. He's in Sonic's going to come in, take down Lonsdale, so Liaz goes huge in the second round, and that's Atletico getting their second. Yeah, that's a good hold, not losing any guns whatsoever, just allowing Parallax to come into their crossfire as well as Utility. Good flashbangs coming out as well, just catching Parallax completely blind, as well as in the flames, nothing they could do. So they're going to have to go on a full eco. Atletico off to a strong start, so patching up any holes that they had. It's looking good for them so far. Yeah, very good, especially the economy. No bomb plants yet for those terrorists, so that's obviously denting their economy. Can't buy this time. Yellow's going to try for the early pick with that pistol. Not to be though, Chuch is going to try and play aggressive with that P90. Wizard does take down a double though, so he's obviously going to try and stop this dead in their tracks. So Wizard doing great damage over the A side, pushes A main now, it's going to shut them right down as they will look to go back towards uh, one. Guy's going to try and contest Wizard. Wizard will get that third kill, so Wizard sitting on a 3k. He's feeling good about things right now. Hats in squeak, he's going to try and come out for a piece of the pie. As Liaz picks up jokes and when Frequent will gun down Hats for a clean win there for Atletico. They've started so fast here on Cache. Yeah, and only losing a single member, which is Sonic, which over the last three rounds is going to boost up their confidence, you know? Atletico known as a bit more of a slow start. It's going to obviously make them feel pretty good going into the first buy round of this map. Parallax, they don't have a lot of utility to work with. AKs as well and all their players, no orbs of in sight. That said, though, Atletico also opting to stay with some of the SMG. So we see that MP9 on Wizard still, P90 on Chuch as well. So possibly a boost coming out towards a main maybe a little bit of aggression as well with these smgs to catch these t's off guard as wizard now pushing in towards a main but raz is staying hidden he's gonna get one behind and there's a little bit of damage coming through he's also gonna find chuch raz absolutely on point as he cleans out this push but infrequent with the ump returns at least a single kill as parallax filter the members towards a site yeah raz showing us what he's got as he gets that double jokes is gonna try and put a damage down to sonic puts him down to 22 so nice damage output there by jokes towards that A site. There's a bit of action down mid jokes. He's trying to get the kill on the player, pushing Z as Sonic gets gunned down. He's actually committed suicide. I don't think he wants to do that again. And uh, that's the, he killed himself. I don't know how he, but he did do that as the 4v2 going on. The flashes go down yellow, gets taken in by Liaz. We've got a 3v2 as the Atletico boys are down by one player. The AK is here for the Terrace. 2v2 now, Liaz gets a kill on Lonsdale. And we got Liaz here sitting on the B site as Jokes is gonna come out. He's very low, he's on, he gets the kill though. So that was Hats picking up Liaz, Jokes though on 10 HP and frequent, stuck in a 1v2. He's looking at a wall of smoke at the moment as the bomb goes down. He's trying his, his luck here with those smoke bangs, but can't really get too much of a uh, good shot off as Hats is on top of the site. They're gonna try and get the trade here, no doubt what the CTs are trying to do here. Parallax trying to uh, outzone him with the trade as he will push out onto the site. He's at headshot. They must know where he is. He's shooting everywhere, trying to pre-fire. He's doing left and rights around the box. He does get one kill, but Jokes is there for the trade, and they'll get their first round. Parallax on the board here on Cache. Yeah, very tight round. That was a good hold from Lias, though. Getting two, almost three kills. Also dinking out Lonsdale. Just couldn't take down Hats, who was just slowly creeping in. Atletico lost a couple of members early on, so they did very, very well to recover, forcing Parallax into a poor eco situation. Uh, they are going to buy up into this round a single AWP now and infrequent, and that's going to be a sight to watch. Four M4s as well, so no SMG, no mucking about now. And meanwhile, for Parallax, I mean, Tech 9s, one Tech 9, two Galils, and a UMP. Not much firepower going for them. Except the UMP is actually pretty strong now, so I guess that is some firepower. Yeah, Yellow's opted for the utility. Is they're going to try and push out on B? Chuch will tell his teammates exactly what's going on as he locks down the flash. Lias gets a double. Lias is definitely turning up here in day two of the OEM. He gets a double kill. 
And as down will go Raz, Sonic picks down, Yellow picks up Sonic. We've got a 4v2 though, and they're both very low here. The Terrorist Yellow is the victim of the gunfire from Wizard, as is his teammate Lonsdale, and that's going to be 4-1. Atletico really charging away here in the early stages, Karath. Yeah, I mean, now forcing Parallax onto another eco. Joke's the only man who has enough cash just to buy a Deagle and a body armor for himself. But the T's, they're going to have to eco one more even after this one. Atletico, I mean, they didn't, I think they didn't even lose a single gun. That's going to be strong for their economy again. They've only lost one buy round, able to buy it once again, able to save. A little bit of spam coming through mid as Sonic gets tagged by, I believe, a stray Glock shot. But otherwise, no action as Parallax now rotating towards that A site with a bomb. Infrequent though, picking up Raz. And he's, oh, nearly gets a second, but he does allow the T's on towards the A site. Yeah, they've got the A site, but they've only got three players. We see a double kill there. Wizard picks up hats. So they've got the 5v3, no utility, no guns. They've got the bomb only. Lonsdale is on his way towards Squeaky with his teammate Yellow. They're going to try their luck here, but it's going to be so difficult. Wizard heads up the ladder. He's going to watch them walk on out and probably gun them down. There's a bit of smoke there, but they'll obviously put down by the CTs, trying to deny them the entry with their clear view out the door. So Wizard, in a beautiful angle here, is going to watch them as they come out of A-Main and also Squeaky as Sonic picks up one in frequent takes down jokes. It's a 1v5, and he's got no chance. Wizard guns him down. So that's another round for Atletico, obviously, on the eco there. That time, Parallax, they will look to buy some weapons this time, though. Yeah, so forcing up to this one once again, not... I would say this is ill-advised. They have to get all these one-on-one -on -one aim deals working for them. And it's not working so far. We've seen... I mean, Lee has now just absolutely on point. He's just mowed down as soon as they come to B-Site. 11 kills and one death. He's been absolutely nutty with the M4 so far. Two or three kills being chained together. He's successfully holding that side. So Parallax trying to go in dry. Once again towards that B-Site, Lonsdale's going to catch one in the head from Chuch. And a little bit of revenge because now this B-Site's iron tight. Parallax not allowed a single glimpse in. Yeah, they're doing it so nicely at Marin Athletic. Like, like that Chinese brick wall we always talk about. The Great Wall of China. Trying to knock them down as they try to get inside that site. CT's Chuch on one HP. He's uh, living that dream. He's got the defusal and, of course, the body armor, head armor, I should say, as they all do. As down will go, Chuch, yellow picks him up. So we've got that 4v4 now. So it looks like uh, we're seeing a bit of a slow one from here, Parallax. Trying to slow it right up. Get those kills. Maybe try and work with, with the uh, what they can pick up if they can do so. For the moment, the action is looking to go towards that A site. And infrequent looking at a wall of smoke through A main. As yellow does go down to 10 HP. I didn't quite see what happened there, but he is down to 10. He's uh, going to try his luck, as they all are. They're coming towards A, no doubt about it. Infrequent with the AWP, so Nays trying to deny them that, uh, that early entry, but looks like they're going to stalk on in. Infrequent picks up a double. There's no way you're not coming in today. Raz will take down Wizard 3v2, two remaining terrorists. Going to be Raz and Yellow. Yellow on 10 HP. Infrequent watching the angle in towards the A site. There's a guy towards Forklift. He misses that shot, does Infrequent. That's a bit of an indifferent thing to happen. Yellow will pick up Sonic, though. 2v2. Both these CTs on full HP. Yellow only on 10 still. And with, with 23 seconds later, they've got to get this bomb down as the spray comes out from Raz. Picks up Liaz. Liaz in frequent last up. Can he get the kill? No, he can't. Raz is the one we've got to watch. He's a definite big performer. Gets a double kill. Second round for Parallax. Yeah, and in frequent a bit unfortunate there. Unable to hit that shot on towards Yellow. He did get that earlier double kill. And I almost thought Athletic had that A site. Went once again down to the inhuman players coming out from Raz. In all honesty, getting a triple kill from that situation after being spotted out. The CTs knew exactly where they were, but he was still able to pinpoint and get those kills in the end. So Parallax picking up a hard-earned second round, in all honesty. Atletico, though, as I mentioned earlier, able to buy it once again. They have so much cash to play with, so there you have it. Rifles and an AWP once again. But similarly, Parallax also have that AWP now on Raz. Just a single Tech 9 Lonsdale who's going to be playing that support role, but they have a lot more utility work in this round, and it's going to look a lot better for them as we go into the eighth round. In the eighth round, we go yellow, takes a bit of damage here, down to 68. So we do see this bomb there heading. Oh, it's still stuck around mid. They like to play very passive in that mid area, try and obviously work a site, play with a few picks, see if they can go between, if they can get that uh, early kill somewhere. They obviously want to go there first. Maybe try and force a, a uh, rotate from those CTs even. So Chuch here playing aggressive on Sunrim, going to try and shut them down in B main if they decide to go that way. So the CT side of Atletico definitely showing up here so far on cash. As we do see these terrorists playing it nice and slow. Hats has got that bomb. He was going towards Squeaky, but let's just say he's rotating back towards that garage now. He's probably going to come out through mid or potentially on his way to B. So Hats, he's got the uh, the bomb there. Just watching angles through mid with 45 seconds to go. We are seeing a very slow round here from the Parallax side, trying to find out where they are and make the most of where they are not. 
And with uh, 38 seconds to go, Krath, we do see a kill left from Chuch. Yeah, and that bomb has been dropped as well. So Chuch in Sunroom, he's just stalling the T's for so long. CT's now know exactly where the bomb carry is. Chuch nearly gets another kill, softening them up so well. Sonic will pick up Lonsdale on the other side. Raz does manage to get a trade, but 24 seconds left on the timer. They're pushing on towards the B site, infrequent. Once again, locking down the corridor. It's going to be flashed out. He's going to take him out through the flash. Raz, the last man left standing, and he's going to be taken out from behind by Wizard, infrequent once again, locking down that line, not allowing them through even with flashbangs being used and Atletico going to be forcing Parallax onto another eco. Another eco that it's absolutely dominance here from Atletico so far on their CT side. Parallax haven't really got a look in. It's only been through individual brilliance there of Raz where they've had an option to put the bomb down and potentially win the round but Atletico are, are playing this so well. The nades go down. Wizards going to watch mid go for the old smoke bang but nothing doing there at the moment. So they, they tried to play slow that time Parallax and it, it didn't really work out for them. Left themselves with too much to do with too little time on the clock. Only got pistols this time. As a result of that, they're going for four Desert Eagles. And they're going to try their luck towards the A-site, it looks like. And Raz, if he can hit a few of these heads with those one digs, obviously they'll have an opportunity to put that bomb down. But then Frequent's got the AWP watching a very nice angle. As soon as they come out of A-Main, I imagine they will be dead meat. He'll be watching that angle like an absolute hawk. The squeaky door gets open, and then Wizard goes for the old shot there. Can't quite find the kill, though. It's going to be Hats. He's uh, trying to climb on out, but Wizard won't let him. Watching angles beautifully here at the A side are Atletico trying to shut them down wherever they possibly can. And with one minute to go now, looks like the Desert Eagles jokes will pick up one. Down goes Sonic. So that's a good kill for Parallax. Get that opening kill. And they'll try and get the bomb down. But as I say, that Wizard will pick up jokes. Yeah, and just before that pop flash came through from Boost now and Frequent has a lot of work to do, but he picks up one. Wizard also takes him down Raz as he was trying to cross towards the side. Yellow! Huge one dig on towards the Orpa. Wizard now tagged out as well. This will allow Parallax to get a bomb plant down, but Molotov just being flung in his general direction. Nowhere that he can go. He has to go absolutely huge, but he's going to burn the Molotov. He was completely isolated. Liaz will be able to pick up the defuse, just trying to recover the Orp. Chuch has picked up that AWP. Parallax, some good eagle shots coming out, able to get a bomb plant down, but once again, another round going towards Atletico, and Solid holds once again. Yeah, so much immolation there. Couldn't go anywhere, could he? He was going to get burned up no matter where he went. So he goes down and it's going to be 7-2 Atletico. Starting off so fast here on Cash, a map where they, uh, I thought Parallax had a great opportunity here to win. You know, they might still do so. They've got a lot to go on this round map still, but they've uh, got a lot to work to do, Parallax. They're down by five rounds. They're on another eco here, double eco. This is the second of those double ecos having to save their money once again, try and yeah, put something in the next round possibly, but at the moment we're seeing that double E-code frequent pushing up heavy on A-Man. Going to try and shut them down if he possibly can, if they do come that way. Remember, they're not Lonsdale thinking about it. Here comes Lonsdale. He's, uh, but he's going to slow poke his way there towards. He goes for the old fast poke, and then frequent misses, throws a nade, and then Wizard picks up Hats, and then Raz gets one. Jokes will pick up in frequent. The Tech 9 from Raz, he's going to try and get this bomb down, add to that, uh, that money collection. Sonic on Lonsdale. As the smokes go down, try and shut out Sonic from the site. They've got the bomb down. They've got a 3v3, but the guns here definitely in favor of the CTs. As I said, that Chuch picks up yellow. AWP for Raz. And Sonic picks up jokes. Last one is Raz. He's not going to 3v1. We know he's good. He picks up Sonic. Can he find the other two? He picks up Chuch. One to go. It's going to be Liaz. 1v1. Raz versus Liaz. And it's going to be Raz. Says, oh, no. You're down. Gets that triple. And they win the round. 7-3 for Atletico. Yeah, and Razmik picking up a quadra kill in that round. Picks up the orb, plays that one of the three absolutely impeccably. A great A main plant, allows him to hold it successfully. And Atletico, they're shaking their heads going a little bit. Well, we lost against Tech 9 and Armors, what went wrong for us a little bit. And I think at that round, Infrequent playing a little bit too aggressive without support. Wizard tried his best, but it was just isolated highway. Needs to come up if Infrequent is playing aggressive. He needs to call for help towards just holding Squeaky or towards AMA just in case the T's bust out. And we saw in that case he got sandwiched. He, can't, he couldn't react fast enough. So Atletico are going to be forcing up this round. Actually, Sonic only with the USP has possibly dropped weapons for his teammates. But the AWP will still come out from the CT side. Meanwhile, Parallax, they have an AWP and four AKs. This wizard now going to be boosted up towards mid bonds. They'll go watching that line. Yeah, we've got the 7-3. So Parallax, once again, they're getting on the board through some individual brilliance from Raz. He's such a machine when he gets going. It's almost like a demigod. As there's the shutdown from Lonsdale on Wizard, who was trying to counter boost, but not to be. So that's going to be that 5v4 in favor of Parallax, who are showing some resistance here at Atletico's attempted uh, clean sweep here on Cash. not trying to let him get too far away from them. And we will see the uh, action going towards mid jokes on his way through that smoke joint. He's got a nice angle here. Actually, through through highway through that little hole in the smoke, but no terrorists. Oh, sorry, CT's pushing down highway as of yet. The bomb here definitely going towards A. Lonsdale with the bomb hats in uh, Squeaky. And we've got infrequent here. 
Watching down the highway near those coils, trying to pick up the kill if they do decide to go that way. But a lot of pressure being applied here from uh, Parallax as one will cross there. I'm not sure if you've seen him. Jokes is going to come on out. Jokes, and he can't get the kill in frequent. I don't know how he did that, but he got the kill. Sonic picks up hats with the pistol. We've got a 3v4. Atletico as down goes Sonic 3v3 now. They're trying to get inside the site. Lonsdale picks up Sonic. Raz picks up Charge. Paradox starting to come up big here. 3v2. And let's see what they can do with it. They've got the bomb. It's in the hands of Lonsdale. He's thinking about planning. One at fence. He misses the shot and frequent takes down Raz. And then Leaz picks up yellow. And that's going to be 8 3 for Atletico. Yeah, once again in frequent, we've seen as soon as he allowed any space, 15 kills and 4 deaths. This man is going absolutely insane on the second day. Parallax. They have to force up very, very soon because they are running out of rounds to play with. So they are going for that pistol and armor on some players. They have pistols in the majority, but it looks like it's going to be that fast B train rush. But Chuch has been impeccable holding this down. He's got the P9 to spray them down as well. And he spotted them out. He's going to get, no, he nearly gets one. He does get one. Cleans up and jokes. They're pushing it now, but Leaz is supporting. He gets one, gets two. Chuch taken out by Lonsdale. Leaz still dealing out. He's got the USB, but he's also got teammates to play with. Wizard coming out of vent. We'll pick up the final two on that eco round. And Atletico only losing a single P90. It's not going to be a massive loss to them. Their economy is still a little bit shaky though, so they need to be cautious going into this round. Very shaky, but they'll buy whatever they can. Obviously, they need a few rounds. I think 10-5 they'll be looking for on their T-side. They'll have an opportunity here. The AWP there for infrequent, as we expected. He does like to wield that gun and do a lot of damage. Mainly playing at A this time, but he can play anywhere. He's so good in frequent. We know how good he is. He's going to play B this time, so showing his versatility with the AWP, as we will see a slow poke here from Parallax on the way towards the A-side. And... Wizard here playing very passive as well as Sonic, so they weren't predicting it, but now they'll come in, trying to use that utility. Raz will shut down Wizard, and then Jokes gets Sonic, so all of a sudden the A side's open for business as Chuch gets a double kill. Heading up highway, picks up two players. 3v3 is what's going to be the situation. They're crossing to put the bomb down, but Chuch is lining them up here, and they do cross over the A side. The bomb is going down now as the, the incineration just a bit off. Actually, couldn't get it down, so very nice use of utility there as Leas picks up Raz. 2v3, Atletico. Once again in control after giving away the A-side early on, courtesy of Raz's early double. And then we see this spray there from Chuch, picks up yellow. Last player up is going to be Jokes on 8HP, and then Frequent picks up Jokes at 10-3. Atletico pick up another round, and all of a sudden Parallax are in die straights. Yeah, and Parallax, I mean, they have to pretty much just buy maybe one pistol on Raz, maybe a couple of Peter 50s to just be in contest for the final round. Atletico... Their economy is going to be good to buy up into the final round, even if they do lose this. I mean, we saw Parallax picking up an earlier anti-eco round, but so far, Atletico, everything's working out for them. Even the buy rounds that they lose, they always go down towards the Y. It has to be... Parallax have to rely on individual brilliance rather than team performance. So, once again, testing out that B side for Chuch. Just playing so aggressive in checkers. He goes, you know what? I can go for it, but Raz shuts him down with a Desert Eagle. He goes, no, I'm going to try and carry my team towards victory as all the CTs now filtering towards that B side. Sonic gets a double. And the rest of the T's now stuck towards B main and checkers. Yeah, they're uh, in a very awkward situation. Raz will pick up Leaz. Raz is definitely performing, but he's got to need some more company than that because Infrequent picks up Raz. Yellow last up, 3v1. Yellow's going to try and push out here. And he does produce that spray, but Sonic shuts him down. So Yellow won't be happy about that. He gets taken down by Sonic. That's going to be 11-3 Atletico here with an opportunity to make it 12-3. And the force buy uh, coming out from these terrorists, but they will have a pretty decent buy. Uh, having said that, or for Raz and AK for everyone else. Yep, and Parallax as of this time. I mean, what can I say? It's just every single execute that's that they've gone towards has not been working out for them. They just have to be relying on these initial picks, and they've just lost their Danger Man instantly. Wizard just instantly nullifies him as he goes for the fast pick through smoke at mid. And I gotta say, this round is most likely over for Parallax unless one of the other players can produce some brilliance because they need to get an entry soon. That's the problem at the moment. They're not getting any entries anywhere. Yeah, it's very difficult when you can't find that first kill. You put yourself under a lot of pressure to get the following few kills to try and consolidate a bomb plant. Parallax just having a lot of trouble at the moment. And we'll see what they do there. They've tried playing slow. They've tried to play fast. Both times hasn't really ended well for them. Raz is the, uh, the man to watch, but he's dead this time around. So that won't be their savior here in the 15th round. So it's going to be up to the likes of Jokes and Hats and Yellow. Try and pull us one out. Lonsdale, the AWP as well, can definitely do some damage. Infrequent playing towards quad. One player at uh, at forklift as well. That's going to be Wizard as Infrequent shuts down Yellow. Hats on Wizard before that. Now they're coming out. Infrequent is greeting them with AWP. Picks up a double kill. Last one up is going to be Hats as he does pick up Sonic. Can he do any more though? 1v3. Hats is the man, but not today. Infrequent shuts him down. Picks up the 3k. Either the second half we go. 12-3. They lead by nine rounds.
Yeah, and at the moment, the danger men for Atletico are all coming online as we speak, as we take a look through the scoreboard. I mean, I believe in Frequent is on something like 18 or 19 kills. He actually is 20 bombed. Hmm. 20 bomb on the first map of the se of the finals. That is absolutely huge. Parallax going to call for a pause. Liaz on 16 kills. Wizard on 16 kills. And at this stage, I mean, even Sonic on 8 kills. He's done his job holding that B side. For Parallax, I mean, none of their players have been firing except for Raz. 14 kills in his own zone, trying to get the rounds for his team, but that's just not good enough at this time. It's mm not. I mean, look at these top fraggers here for Atletico. When you get the likes of Wizard, Liaz, and Frequent all fragging like that, it's so difficult for any team, not not just Parallax, but any team to come against that. Those three guys on their own are absolute superstars. They can outgun anyone on their day, and they're doing so right now. So it's going to be up to Parallax, maybe on their T side. Sorry, their CT side. They've got something else for us, but they have to get this pistol around uh, first and foremost. After that, maybe they can try and surmount some sort of comeback, but uh, this pistol round holds a lot of weight, you know, if if Atletico win this uh, pistol round, it's going to be very hard for, for uh, Parallax to come back into the game. Yeah, so if Parallax are to mount a comeback, they need to make sure their economy is stable. So they, as ho as much as I hate to say this, they may, tempt they may be tempted to cut corners. I mean, once we come to the bar round, we may see them just trying to stick with SMGs if they're able to win the pistol round, if they are able to win the next two anti-ecos afterwards. They may still stay with those SMGs, and that may be an unnecessary risk. At the same time, Atletico, I mean, they can play around a little bit. They know they've got a little bit of space. Even if they lose the pistol, they can force up a couple. See where they want to go. Just test the water, so to speak. See if they can exploit any weakness. But as of this time, I mean, just going into this half, very, very confident. And Frequent's been hitting every single one of his shots. <laughs> there have been some insane shots in that montage, so to speak. Oh, it's ridiculous. I mean, Frequent, when he produces that AWP with, with the shots he's been bringing out today on, on, the, uh, on the CT side of... Cache. It's so difficult to, to do anything against that. I mean, Raz, the only times they've looked likely Parallax is when Raz has come up big. And he needs more help than that. He can't be doing it all the time for Parallax. Otherwise, simply they won't win. Because, yes, he needs some assistance. He's not getting it right now. Raz is doing a great job. 14, 13. But look at the surrounding kills. you got one guy in five. That's jokes. Four kills there for Yellow. Three kills there for uh, Hats and Lonsdale. So it's simply Raz at the moment. He needs more help. And obviously, Parallax will be trying to get back in the game, but how can they do it if, if these guys aren't really showing up at the moment? At this moment, I mean, I think for Parallax, what they need to do, Hats... I mean, Hats has always been a bit of a hot and cold player, so alongside with jokes, they need to just, just settle down and just go, all right, we're losing these couple of aim deals, but we'll take our time, make sure we t uh, clutch out the pistol round, that we hold tight with our rifles. We know we can pick up these doubles and triples. We've done it again, Atletico, before. we just got to do it again. Mm. And, you know, as soon as two rounds come through, maybe they, they hit, you know, three kills, four kills in those two rounds, they'll suddenly start feeling confident in themselves, able to land that spray down, and all of a sudden, it's anyone's game, because the score will be, you know, 8-12, 9-12, the economy looking great for the CTs, Atletico in a bit of a stump where to go. And at the same time, I mean, Atletico, they just want to pressure as hard as you can. Don't want Parallax any breathing space. Absolutely. So they'll be looking to suffocate them here. Atletico, try and force them out of the map. Parallax, no doubt what they'll be trying to do. Win this pistol round, get off to a good start as a wheel count down from 10. We'll go back to being live. And we are back on the pause. So they want another few minutes to think about things, reassess the situation, talk to their team, try and find out where they can uh, pick up things. And at the moment, well, it's it's very difficult for Parallax because Atletico, when they're all firing like that, I mean, as I said before, there's, there's not many better than those kind of players, Wizard, Liaz, and Frequent. Those three guys can uh, outdo anyone in the day. And when all three are firing, it's so difficult. And I think this... I know when we first initially heard that Cash was a pick... I was a bit surprised, but I suspected that um, Atletico, or Sonic in particular, had something behind it. Because, say for example, if you're looking at statistics and you go, oh, you know, Parallax, there's six, there's six wins and zero losses in cash. Maybe they don't practice it. Mm. Now, maybe we had a show like it, maybe we're playing it poor, but because we're playing it poor, we need to practice it. And maybe they found something that clicked in their recent scrims and go, you know what, we can take Parallax against this. And we believe they won't practice it because they believe they're strong at it. Because a lot of teams would go, I'd rather chance overpass rather than cash. You, you look at the stats, if you look at how it's played. But, I mean, Atletico clearly gone, you know what, we're confident, we're going to take it to Parallax, so. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting one. I know they uh, obviously lost to Parallax and ESL on that first day. And maybe they've thought to themselves, well, we can't let that be that way. We've got to come back and play them again. Try and prove them wrong. And, uh, you know, change that around, get some confidence out of that. And they've really started well here, Atletico. I know they would have been... Uh, talking about that pre-match starting fast against Paradox, otherwise you, put, you give them a lead and it obviously can uh, turn into a very dire situation as we start the second half now. And this is going to be an interesting pistol round, no doubt about that. As it looks like Chachi's going to drop that bomb over towards 
uh, behind the B main area. So definitely going to play a bit slow is what that's suggesting to me. You've got two players here at, at uh, sorry, three players now at A for the Parallax team. One player playing towards B, actually two players at B, one in checkers, one playing at uh, headshot. So this is an interesting situation here. We've got a 3A three, three and a 2B, no one mid really. So they're willing to give that up. And let's see what uh, Atletico got for us as it looks like Chachi's going to pick up that bomb. Yeah, so at, as of that time, Atletico just resuming holding patterns, just seeing if the counter terrorists want to play aggressive because a lot of the times we may see Parallax actually pushing two or three towards B start with the pistols. And obviously Atletico with a bunch of members situated towards A start, ready to push into game control if things go haywire. But now they're grouping back up once again with one minute left on the timer, bomb being carried by Chuch as we see the first smoke towards mid. So this makes me think that's going to be a split B attack with one lurking towards mid CTs. The CTs at B side have a lot of work to do. It's going to be yellow and check. It's just hiding behind the box. He should hear them coming in now. They do come and he takes down one, but Liaz is there. Raz picks up a double, the USP. And then Raz gets a double headshot. Can he get that triple? We said Raz is the one to do this. He's definitely doing it right now. They're in the 4v2 though. Parallax definitely got the ascendancy. Raz is trying to shoot up Sonny. He can't fight, find the shot though just yet. He has another go. Misses again, Raz. And it looks like he'll retreat back towards checkers, but obviously can't get that boost because his teammate has a cross. Liaz playing even B main, trying to shut down these CTs as they obviously try and shut down the team of Atletico. Raz there picks up Sonic though. And it's going to be up to the men. They call Liaz in a 1v3. He's definitely capable. We know what he can do, Liaz. He comes on in for a piece, gets gunned down by Raz. So Raz there picking up the 4K, I believe. Did all sorts of damage. And once again, Raz winning another round for Parallax. Yeah, getting four kills, having no bullets left in his pistol after that. So... They're going to be pretty happy with that. Atletico, though, most likely going to be forcing into this. We see Sonic going to be instantly buying that P250 and body armor head and body armor coming out for the rest of the members of the T's as well. Tech 9s and P250s ready to take it to Parallax if they get a little bit sloppy. Raz has bought an M4 after getting four kills, and why wouldn't you? You're going red hot. Might as well go with a rifle. And it looks like this may be a bit of a fake towards A side jokes. Thinking about going in, just standing underneath boosters at this time. Very close towards A and Pain. There's, there was a little bit of noise made but not enough for Parallax to actually commit all the members towards the A site just yet. They are tending more towards that though. Yeah, they're definitely going towards that A site. We see a rotation now, as it looks like Liaz and Sonic will head back towards that mid garage. Uh, they got infrequent, they're making a lot of noise at uh, A main, which pretty much tells me they're definitely going B. He's doing his best to make a racket, but the CTs haven't quite fallen. They still got two players at B, one player hanging around mid. So we're gonna have to see this B push here from the team that called Atletico. They've got pistols only. They've got armor though, so they can definitely, they can get some, some good aim assisting their armor. They'll definitely be able to do a bit of damage. Leo's picks up Lonsdale. Very good opening frag by him. We've got the 5v4 now down. Wizard goes down there to yellow, so yellow picks up a kill. Raz will take down Chudge. Raz is going absolutely ham. He gets a triple. Yellow picks up Sonic. That's another one for Parallax. Yeah, I know this is stage from Atletico. Atletico picked up the first kill on towards Lonsdale, and, but they were committed towards that B site. Charged straight in, and then realized that Raz was there. And at this moment, we just saw Raz did not miss a single shot. He just stood there and he goes, you know what? I'm confident I can take any of you on. You can jump at me with a Tech-9. You can charge at me. I'm holding on to this B side. So Atletico may want to attack this A side a little bit more. Might want to test out what hats and the other members have waiting for them. But it looks like just a little bit of noise and pressure towards B side. I think that's a bit ill-advised as Raz, once again, adding another kill to his tally. What can you say at oh. still this time? He's, he's going to need a masseuse, that's what I'm going to say. He's doing a lot of carrying at the moment. Leo's picks up jokes, though. So that's the 4v4, but uh, the guns here from the terrorists, not good at all, obviously. Forcing last time, can't do much here. Only got the pistol to work with the gun. The bomb there, sorry, within frequent. They're doing their best here to try and push some sort of kill. Sonic here stalking his way into A. He's got in there on side at the moment. Lonsdale will see him right now. Does get that kill in frequent, though. He gets the trade. They're going to chime in on the site. Leo's... So that's Hats, I should say. Gets a double kill on Leo's, and then in frequent, Wizard picks up Hats. 2v1, it's up the Wizard. He's going to have to bit of magic for us right now. He's in a 1v2. He's wheeling up highway with that Glock in his hand. He's going to come out towards truck. He goes for the shot. He's spraying. He can't get the kill though. Yellow picks up Wizard with the superior gun. And that'll be the sixth round for Parallax. So they're definitely coming back here. Yeah, and now Atletico will be able to buy off. So kind of going, all right, Parallax. It looks like they are coming alive a little bit. So we've got to think exactly what we need to do. B site, once again, the danger zone. If they're able to take down Raz, it suddenly makes their job exponentially harder. 22 kills. He is... I'm not sure at this stage, but I think he may be fragging harder than anyone else in the server. And that is absolutely insane. As Lonsdale is just going to be exchanging a little bit of spam with Wizard. And this is so much information being gathered by Raz pushing towards B backyard. There is Chuch holding in that line, though. So I'm not sure who's going to be able to get that first shot in. Raz is on another level right now. There's no doubt about that. He's got that AWP playing aggressively on B. He's so confident right now, Raz. Uh, so confident to the point where the CTs are... 
Uh, sorry, the Terrace, I sure athletic, athletic Code not even bothering to contest him. They're sending one squeaky, one A main. The bomb here heading uh, slowly towards the A site, uh, actually through. I think that's boost. Yeah, they're going towards boost with that bomb. They're going to try and boost up here, get some mid control, maybe try and push up highway towards the A site, as infrequent. And uh, he's thinking about a boost. He uh, boosts his teammate up there. Lonsdale is watching towards mid there on that double stack. Here the coils as Raz picks up Chuck. So Raz is, <laughs> is doing unbelievable work here for Paradox. You've got to think, is this ever going to relent? Right now, he's relentless. He gets a kill on. Uh, that was, of course, uh, Chach going down before that. They're going to chime in here towards the uh, B site. They keep going towards Raz, saying, can you continue to perform, Raz? We're daring you to. At the moment, he's not letting anyone down, especially his teammates at the 5v4. As the terrorists start to chime in, Raz gets another one on Sonic. Raz goes for a flick to the left. Can't quite find it. Yellow finds Wizard, though. Tech 9 out for Raz. Pulls out the AWP. He's going to play close. There's one on his right there in that trash. As Infrequent gets a double on the Paradox, boys. Down go Yellow and Lonsdale. Raz gets taken in Belly. As Infrequent on a triple. Picks up jokes. Hats last up. He's got a 1v2. He's on his way to the B site. Going through B main M4 equip. The bomb goes down. 1v2. As Hats is going towards the uh, B site. One playing short. One plank back B. He lobs an aid over towards the player back B. Can he pick the head of the guy short? Not quite. Infrequent does the uh, 4K, if you don't mind. Picks up hats. Picks up another round for Atletico. They get their first of the second half, and it's 13-6. Yeah, big round once again. Coming out from Infrequent. Infrequent and Raz having a battle to see who can win that MVP prize at the moment. <laughs> These two just going absolutely ham. Head-to-head -head. Atletico bring themselves one more round closer towards victory. Chuch, though, staying with just a Glock? <laughs> No, he's got a glue. Okay. I was afraid for a moment that I was going to go out with armor and Glock hand. With, two and a, with 2k, not the most advice thing to do. The rest of Parallax have forced into this round, though. Deagle, two Deagles, a CZ, and Orb and an M4. So, still a lot of work for them to do in this round. But once again, Brass does have an AWP. As Infrequent looking to find his mark. Yeah, and Frank went on boost here, trying to get some knowledge of mid. What can he see? Not much at the moment, but Raz. Oh, they, it's like they've met up for a good old 1v1 session. Raz takes down infrequent. A 5v4 is what we got right now. Leo's on the boost this time. As in, I think that's Lonsdale playing mid. It normally is. As it is Lonsdale up highway, he goes back, he retreats. He knows Leo's is there, will tell his teammates what he saw. Sonic's going to push through A main with his uh, with touch there, so they're going to try and put a bit of pressure on the A site now. So that's where the bomb is going. One player chiming in here from Squeaky. It's going to be Leo's. And Wizard's going to go for the mid pusher. They're going to try and squeeze them up in A, I believe. They've got one player playing mid, two A main, one squeaky. Definitely an A push as Wizard goes down to 3 HP. So we've got this 5v4 going on. The AWP from Chuch and the uh, CZ75 there from Jokes. As Hats picks up Liaz, it's a 5v3. So now all of a sudden, Parallax have the advantage. Raz once again finds Chuch. Jokes gets gunned down by Sonic at the 4v2. Sonic and Wizard last up. Down will go Sonic last up, 3 HP for Wizard. He's in A main. He does pick up Raz. But now they know where he is, and then this guy at quad says, chimes in, knocks him down, and Hats picks up Wizard to make it 13-7. Parallax continue their resurgence. Yeah, and with this orb drop from Atletico, I believe Atletico forced them to a double... Okay, maybe a single eco, and they can force up afterwards. But a double orb for Parallax coming out of this time. I believe this actually may have been the incorrect call for Parallax. This makes one of their sites a little bit more vulnerable to rushes if they miss the first initial shot. So they are barreling towards that B site. Raz is going to be there. So he is going to be playing very, very aggressive. Does have support, though, towards headshot. He is going to be flashed out. He is going to be caught out in the open. Raz the danger man. Going to be taken out. In frequent, going to pick up that AWP. Or up to yellow to hold this on his lonesome. They're coming towards the site now. Spraying down. Gets one. Can he get the second? He does get the second. But in frequent, still alive. And now it's a three on three. Yeah, very good round so far for Atletico. They're going to get the bomb down. They get some extra cash, no doubt about that. So Leo's here going to try and shut down the retake attempt. But there the, throws the utility there from the uh, Parallax boys. Going to try and do whatever they can to get themselves back in that site. Try and reclaim that bomb, defuse it, win the round. That's the plan, but it's not going to be that easy. Because uh, Atletico, very nicely set up here as Leo's will push through the smoke. He's got the AWP. Who's uh, picked that one up? The Deagle here from Sonic. Oh, he's got right behind them. Frequent shut down too. Jokes picks up Liaz. Sonic's going to come in. Won't be needed. In Frequent, he denies them all. Gets a 3K. And that's going to be 14 7 for Atletico. Not just a 3K, the ace on an eco round. <laughs> that was absolutely huge. Absolutely just shutting down for Mars. He was on 24 HP, standing on the site, just shut down, just went, you know what, Parallax? I'm not letting you run all over us this time. And now Parallax is going to be forced into the eco. Atletico looking in a very strong position to close this out. And what can you say, Raz? I mean, Raz giveth and Raz taketh, I guess, as Charge finds that first pick. And the Raz once again trying to do his best to get the first pick, but it's just going to leave this B site vulnerable and open his yellow now. Take it down as well. And Atletico looking like they're about to take the first map in a resounding victory. Yeah, it comes back to that buy. You know, you spoke about two orbs. Maybe it was a costly setup. 
obviously proved costly losing that round. I didn't expect that had to happen, but it did. And uh, infrequent coming up large hats. Gonna try and be aggressive on mid. Trap down this initial push. Out comes no one because infrequent. He shuts down hats. He was gonna go out, but hats was gonna try and knock him down, but couldn't do so. We've got a 5v2. Now they're gonna shift walk their way towards A. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, the A site is completely vacated. So this will be a pretty simple push if they do go that way. They won't know this, but there is no one at A. They're both at B, committed to B. This is a beautifully worked strategy here from Athletico. They should be able to get in there and put the bomb down without any issues at all. Chuck will know what's going on. He can't see anything. He's running, what happened here? You know, you can't see anything, so we're going to put this thing down. It should be a 15-7 situation. Yeah, Parallax, as of this time, they may just have to save their pistols and just hope for the best, because even if they go on the retake, they'll lose this armor and pistols. It's going to make it rough for them. The joke's trying to go for that retake. Wizard and Chuch are going to be cleaning them up quite quickly. Lonzo does find a nice one dig on towards Sonic, so he picks himself up in A4, but down to 24 HP. Atletico going to be hungry for his blood, and Liaz is going to make his mark as well. So it's going to end up as a double kill for Liaz in frequent Chuch and Wizard, both picking up a kill each as Atletico now on match point. Yeah, they've got eight chances to win the map. 31 kills there for Infrequent. 23 for Liaz, 19 for Wizard. Look at the difference between those three. I mean, obviously a few kills, but then the difference between Raz and the next highest fragger, there's quite a difference. So it will be up to Atletico. They can simply win it right now. They've got the guns, no doubt about that. Only pistols here in armor for the CT. So very good situation for if Atletico would win. Raz will shut down Chuch, though. Infrequent on line style before that. They've got some mid-control, the uh, Terrace. So the CT is not really keen to contest mid. As uh, Jokes is going to try and be aggressive on A main. Can you pick up Liaz? Not quite. No damage put out. Goes for the shot through his point. Can't hit that either. Liaz picks up Jokes. As down will go Hats. Atletico looking so good here to take out that first map. A 4v2 is what we have. Raz and Yellow last two up here for Parallax. And they are both going to try and come over towards the A site. Down goes the bomb. So Raz is going to try for the yell. Uh, one dig. Can't quite find Liaz though. He's having another go. But there's Liaz picking up Raz. Last up Yellow. 4v1. And he's got the... He's got a lot of work to do, no doubt about that. He's stuck in a wall in some smoke. Picks up the AK, though. Guns down one. Can he get any more? Yellow. As Sonic picks his own teammate, then picks up Yellow. You're forgiven, son. 16-7 as Atletico take out that first map. Yeah, and six, that was absolutely dominating performance from two players. I mean, I can include a lot more of the Atletico players, but it really just boiled down to infrequent versus Raz, and that was an absolute sight to see. But I guess for Parallax, I'd be pretty disappointed in if I was the rest of the four players, be pretty disappointed. Need to definitely step up their game as we go on towards Dust 2. But Atletico, I mean, looking to close this out 2-0, aim very strong. So we'll go for a short break. Mm -hmm. But before we go to it, a shout out towards our sponsors, M-Wave, AOC, Netgear, Gigabyte, Logitech, Plantronics, AK Racing, and Shine Plus. Thank you very much. We'll be going to a short break, but stay tuned as we come back for the second map. 